Hey guys and girls, welcome to this new series in C Sharp examples. And here is where we're going to create some simple examples and you're going to follow me on my journey on learning C Sharp through this course that I'm attending, this distance, cor distance course. And I'm going to take up all the uh, examples they're using and I'm going to kind of code them on my own and we're going to just go through that. I'm not going to say exactly which course it is and what, whatever it is, but we're going to go through it. And I'm not going to take their content. I'm not going to copy anything. I'm just going to take kind of the examples and customize them a little bit and make tutorials out of them. So I thought it would be fun for you guys to see how I'm learning as well. And uh, that's why this isn't going to be a full-fledged tutorial. This is kind of going to be a some step between that where I know what I'm doing and still don't know what I'm doing. I hope you know what I mean. All right. And I'm, I'm going to give you as much details as I can. Then we're going to do a fully-fledged C sharp tutorial after I've read a few books on the subject properly and properly know how to use C sharp and the, the combining libraries, right? And all everything that it has to offer. I want you to do a few things before we get started with the series. I want you to go to the wiki page for .NET and I want you to read what it is because it's very important to know. If you work with C and other types of lower level or, yeah, lower level languages, right? Uh, you might have a hard time understanding how .NET works. It's kind of working like Java is. If you have experience with Java, you'll fit right in here because it's on a layer on top of a bunch of other layers and it makes it very flexible and very nice. And it's still very efficient. It's a very good, good language, a very fast language, which has lots and lots of flexibility and different functionalities that you can use. As you see here in this list, it's great. It tells you what it's added with the time WPF, WCF, all these things, these are like different types of nice UIs you can create. You can create really nice, beautiful applications using this and also online uh, browser applications and everything you can think of almost. Very flexible, very nice. Also, it's uh, cross-platform. It kind of feels like I'm doing some kind of a uh, <laughs> some kind of a advertisement for .NET, but it kind of is because I love this language. I really fell in love with it while I was working with it and I do like C++, but this, the, the flexibility here is just amazing. So I'd really recommend this, even if you're working with high performance applications. So read this, it will tell you what it is and it might be confusing to a lot of you, but after reading this, I'm sure you'll understand. And I want you to just go ahead into Visual Studio 2019. In the next video, I'm gonna teach you how to install it, but you can just go here and read about this compiler and this IDE it's called, Integrated Development Environment. And it, it will just be everything for you, right? It's a very flexible text editor, code editor, and compiler in one. So once you download this and install the packages, you'll be good to go. Then I want you to go to C Sharp Tutorials Point because following my videos, you won't get all the details you might need maybe. So I want you to just go through these steps as we go along. If I talk about loops, go ahead and click on loops. It's a very good page. It shows you how everything works in detail. And, and it will cover some stuff that I'm missing. So it's a very good place to check out information. If you really don't want to read, <laughs> just check out my videos. You should be fine and getting started. Then we'll make, like I said, a really full-fledged tutorial on the subject. There you go, guys. This is just the intro video. Hopefully you'll like this mini series with examples. We're going to do a bunch of stuff and we're going to go into ASP.NET as well. Check that out. That's the online web part of it. And we're going to do SQL database stuff as well. Lots of advanced stuff. So we're going to go quickly from very basic to advanced. So this, this is going to kind of give you a feeling of everything. And like I said, I'll try to explain everything as well as I can. Thank you so much. Check out the Discord as well. Join me there if you have questions. Uh, we're all over there chilling. Uh, lots of different sections you can talk and, and ask questions. While you're coding, make sure to save all your stuff. If you want to show off your stuff, go ahead and send it to me. Make a little demo of your applications, uh, make a little video, upload them to your YouTube and just link me that. And I'll make, I'll usually put these videos into my own kind of compilation, community compilation. And we're just going to go ahead and go from there. So just remember that in your head if you want to join in on that. Otherwise, drop a like, subscribe, check out the description box for all the nice links. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.